Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today is day three of my three day training series with Beast Era Soccer Training. So I really recommend watching days one and two if you haven't already. I'm gonna put links to those on the screen right now. Not only are those videos valuable individually, but they also progress into each other really nicely. The way that these sessions are structured is to progress forward. So the first day was all about our movement off the ball, how we get into those areas that are most dangerous to receive the ball in. And then day two was all about our first touch, so how we prepare the ball and now moving into day three it's all about end product so once we've gotten into those areas once we've taken our first touch how can we be productive with the ball so once again there's going to be so many coaching points in today's video you're going to want to bring your notepad along and i hope you get a lot of value out of it but let's get right into the session all right so into the saq for today today's topic is going to be end product so we're going to build that in as we warm up through here but today we're actually going to add a stimulus with these blaze pods Okay, so as you can see, they're lighting up as they go. So you're going to start here, okay? You've got 30 seconds to start with. When I say go, all right, you're going to see which one's lit up. That's the direction you go. So right now I'm here. You're going to be through, through, round, nice and quick. Okay, sprinting back in the box. As soon as we enter the box, we see where the next one goes. Okay, again, through, through, round. We're going for two sets, 30 seconds at a time. So nice and quick, plenty of rest in between. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Good, through, 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 nice and low, yep. Good, back in, react, good, react. Good. Good, 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 keep it going, good. React, yeah, that's it, good, back to where, good. God, love that, love that, love that, yep. That's it, yep. Good, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep going, keep going. Give me one more here, give me one more. Good, yeah, yep. Good, back in and you're done, well done, good stuff. Nice, so as it lights up, as soon as you enter the box, if it changes as you enter the box, go to the one you first saw. Okay, yeah, because you don't, in a game you wouldn't, it wouldn't change this fast. So as soon as you enter the box, you see it, you go. Okay, we're working on that stimulus of, okay. There's where my stimulus is, I go quickly. Okay, so nice and easy. Rest up, ready, go. Let's go, react, 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 come on, come on. Nice and low, I'm back in, good. React again, good. As soon as you see it, as soon as you enter the box, that's it, you gotta go back, you gotta go back, here we go, good. Good, keep it going, keep it going, that's it, that's it, that's it. Make it, come on, come on, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, yep. Good, come on, give me one more now, give me one more, here we go. Good, 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 make it across, good. Good, and time, well done, good, start your minute. All right, bringing in today's topic, which is end product. Now what's gonna happen, it's gonna be the same thing, but now you're gonna to react to two stimuluses. So, Ryan's got a ball out there, I'm gonna be on a ball either out there or out there, okay? It's gonna be the same thing. So when I say go, you're through, okay? Reacting to the first stimulus, which is the blaze pod. Round, as you come back in, either myself or Ryan are gonna put a ball in, okay? Can we, are we onto it? Finishing one touch, okay? We're going for time, all right? We'll see what you get in the first one and then adjust from that, all right? But if you miss, you get two seconds added onto your time. Three, two, one, go. 30 seconds, here we go, here we go. Go ahead, make it, make it, make it. Here we go, yep. Love it, love it, on track, here we go. Make it good. There's two. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Well done. Love that. Two more. Come on, come on, come on. You're on track here. Let's go. Finish that. Good. Well tracked. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. Five seconds. Three, two. Ah, oh, nice. 29 seconds. Oh, lovely. Well done. All right. Take your time again. Full minutes rest. Full recovery. Here we go. Let's try and beat that 30 second mark again. Take your time, here we go. Going in three, two, one, let's go. Good, react, 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 good. Yep, good. React to the second stimulus of the ball, good. Good lad, good lad, well changed, well changed, well changed. Good, make it, make it, make it, good. Here we go, on track, that's 13 seconds, let's go, let's go. It's coming in there, react, 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 good. Come on, last one now, let's go. 
Good lad, love that, love that, getting the full rep in. Finish up. Oh, he's done it as well, yeah, 29 seconds again. Lovely. I like that one, I liked as you come in, you're checking around, okay, reacting to that second stimulus of me, okay, we're not here to make it easy for you, yeah, we're here to try and challenge you, to have that awareness about you and still finish accurately, okay, here we go, we'll get the balls in as you rest, all right, last one on here, this time exactly the same thing apart from now, as you recover back into the box, after reacting to this, okay, one of us is going to fire a ball in at you, you have to see who's firing it in, yeah. okay, and then react, okay, so say if this blaze pod lights up, you can either finish in there or there, okay, that one lights up, obviously there or there, okay, so you've got to take in the awareness and still provide a good end product, okay, I'm going to give you 34 seconds on this one, four, here we go, here we go, ready, three, two, one, go, Five. Yeah, have a look. Where's next? Good lad. Get down. Good. Now react. Now react. Good. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Love that. Get in there. Well done. Can we react? Yes, lad. Lovely scan. Lovely touch. Let's go. One more. One more. Touch. Get in there, 33.17, he's right on it every time. <laughs> Lovely awareness as you come through, okay, checking who's passing, all right, we're going to mix it up, it's not always going to come from him, it's not always going to come from me, you could have four from him, yeah, good to go, 34 seconds to beat, okay, this is the only one, here we go, last one left, ready, three, two, one, go. Yes, lad. Lovely. Yes, make it now. Make it, my. Make it, make it, make it. There you go. There you go. Here we go. Good. Good. Finish. Yes. Come on. Keep it going now. Keep it going. Come on. Come on. Pick it up. Touch. Get out of your feet. Get in there. Lovely finish. Well done. Touch. Finish. Yes. Yeah. 33, add 2, 35, hey, it's good though, it's good though, it's always that last one, well adjusted, hey, really, really good, all right, nice little warm up for you. All right, so we're going to work on shots from all different types of angles right now, so we're going to start here, all, right, all I want is just take a couple touches out, all right, and we're going to try to get a shot fake right as we get close to these yellow cones, all right, cut it through, all right, it's going to be a left, left foot finish here, okay, right after that, okay, Leave it, okay, come back, get another one. We're always gonna do two at each spot. So I want you to do one here, okay, see what happens. But after each one, like if you, if you make a mistake, all right, that's fine, but I want you to really evaluate what went wrong and what you could do better on the next one, and that's why I always want you to have two. Okay, okay so working on, yeah, that end product, okay, but it, so, something goes wrong, fine, put it, put it in the back of your mind, okay, but still think about, okay, what can I do differently next time to fix this type of shot? All right, so we're gonna do two here. Okay, right after that, you're gonna come up to the the reds over here, same thing, we're going to go with two, just going to come up, come right up to the three cones here, any kind of move you want, you're out, all right, get a shot off, all right, we're going to do two, and then same thing at the blues, coming in, cutting in, and using your right foot to finish, all right, so we're just going to do two at each to start, all right, then we'll progress from there. Good cut, good finish as well. Great finish, good adjustment too. First one was good, second one was better. That's what we're looking for every time. Like it, good feet. Great finish. Take your time on the way back. Like how it changes up the moves, that's fine. Yep, we'll go over to the blues. Ah, that's right. Hey, way to sell that shot fake, though. This is your time to make the adjustment now. Ooh. Okay, so now we're going to add a little extra to it, okay? Because 
some, I feel like some players sometimes when they get into spots like this, it's really just them just trying to strike it, make clean contact. We're looking for you to actually pick out a spot now. So right when you're coming through, okay, it's going to be the same kind of movement. Give that shot fake, cut in, and now I'm going to give you a call of one, two, three, or four. Number one is always the bottom left. Number two is always top left. We go over to top right for number three. Bottom right is number four. Okay, so right when you come through here, all right, you're going to hear the call. So if it's here and all of a sudden the ball is over there and you hear me say four, I want to see how well you can adjust your body, adjust your hips to get this ball across the goalkeeper, right? If we're, if we're making a call of maybe um, a number two, right? Maybe you're taking this touch a little bit further up, okay, hoping the goalkeeper comes out and trying to put it in the roof of the net that way. All right, so different types of finishes, but I want you to really pick out a spot now, okay, based off what I call. Four. Like it. Really good. We're going to move over. Two. Good. Three. Yes. Great finish. Okay, we're going to work on the same kind of thing, but taking it off the first touch. All right, Matt, you're going to be over there. So it's just going to be your run in, working on taking a positive touch forward. Here we go, right in front. Positive touch forward. It's out. And then right, right when you get through the gap, all right, I'm going to give you that, that number call again okay, to hit those corners for you. All right, same thing. We're going to do two. Two at each spot, all right, and then you move on to the next one. All right, so the pass is always coming from the outside. Matt here, pass is always on the outside there. And we're just going to move these balls up to the middle. So, Mike, when you come to this one, you're just going to play you either side. Just touch around and get your shot, all right? Four. Great finish there, Mike. Good. Come in, choose either side. Play them on either side. Yep. One. Uh, late call, late call. Three. It's a good strike, but try to get it a little higher here for the call. Two. Two. Oh, good adjustment, Mike. That's what we're talking about. Very nice. So, so the whole point of this is when I want you, when you get inside this area in the box, right, it's going to be congested. There's going to be a lot of moving parts in here. I think some of the best scorers in the world are the ones that are able to, at the last second, okay, see a little opening. And maybe the, even though their hips are opened up here, right, they see maybe there's a spot in between someone's legs and they're going down into this corner here. Or maybe right, they're taking away another spot and they're able to adjust their hips quickly, maybe put a little bend on the ball, all right, get into the top corner. But all different types of finishes, if you could do in this box, you're going to get a lot more goal scoring opportunities. All right, that last, that last one was <laughs> different, different level there. <laughs> all right, so last, last round here. Okay, now I want same same setup, okay, same design, except now the ball is going to start in your hands, Matt. All right, and I want you taking this ball down out of the air. So you could bounce it in, okay, you could throw it up in the air, whatever you want, right, make it difficult on him. So you throw it in, all right, however you want. I want you getting this ball on the floor as quickly as possible, all right, and getting your shot off to whatever, whatever I say. Once you do two here, all right, your next one is going to be from me over here. So you have this yellow box in the middle. All right, I'm just going to give you two hard crosses. All right, they might be driven in, they might be bounced in, they might be high. Okay, you have two touches inside the yellow box, okay, to get a finish off. All right, so it goes yellow, and then two, two crosses, you go to red, all right, then you go to blue, and then you finish with the two crosses on the other side. Three. Ooh, close. Good, hop. Yellow box. Yep, one. Nice, back in. Three. Good, get it down, get it down, get it down. Like it, Mike. Same thing here at the Reds. Three. Oh my God. Four. One. Great touch, way to set yourself up. Good hit. Yeah, back to the middle, back to the middle. Two. Oh. Back in. Four. Oh. <laughs> Good stuff, man. All right, to start the drill, we're going to make it more game realistic, okay? So the beginning stages with the picture we're going to paint is right back, okay? 
I'm sliding and showing for the ball. Needham's gonna play it into my feet. Okay, I'm switching the point of attack. Now I can give you different types of balls. Okay, I can drive it, I can find your feet. Okay, sometimes I'll even give you a little whip. Okay, I'm just gonna give you different looks. Okay, once you receive it, okay, you're taking him 1v1 to one of those goals. So look at, once he makes the touch, like you're pressing him, okay, you're trying to win the ball. So based on the situation, whether you score, you miss, or he steals it, okay, so just give him the ball. Let's pretend he just took it. Mike's gonna have a second ball. Mike, you're gonna lead him. Go ahead and lead him a bit. And Mike's gonna press you. Now you've gotta make a decision here. What is he gonna take away? If he's gonna, if he cuts in front where he's gonna force you inside, then you can take that cut in and you can have a shot. If he's gonna press you and try and keep you out wide, so need him. No matter what happens, okay, once you release the pass, you're, you're stepping in, step in, and you're gonna be an option. I want you showing between the top of the D and the PK spot. So now, if he's gonna force you end line, you now have an option to cross the Needham. You can do it in the air, you can do it however you want. It's your decision.
Turn around, lad. Absolutely. Sick. So that concludes all three days of training with Beastera Soccer Training. And I just want to say a huge thank you to all of the Beastera staff for the time and the energy they spent on planning those sessions because I know it takes a lot of work, but also the level of detailed feedback that they provided throughout each of those training days because it's so important as a player to get that immediate feedback. You can see with every rep, they're giving either positive feedback or they're giving constructive feedback. So if there's something I do well, they let me know. If there's something I need to correct, they let me know that in the moment so I can make that adjustment and then the next rep, I'll see that improvement. So you can tell they really care about the player's development and they're such a class act. As you can see, they provided me with one of their training tops. But also on top of that, as you guys know, they were helping me get ready for an opportunity this past weekend. And as soon as I was back from this weekend, they were asking me how it went, what did I do well, what could I improve on? So you can tell they really genuinely care about the success of the players that they work with. So I couldn't recommend Bistero Soccer Training enough. If you can get a session with them in person, definitely do that. But if you can't, check them out on Instagram and YouTube because they provide so much free valuable content to help you take your game to the next level. I'll leave links to those in the description box below. But I hope you enjoyed all three of these sessions, but more importantly, I hope you took away a lot of value from them. It really helped me improve my game, so if you apply the feedback that you heard from the Beastero coaches, I know it's gonna help your game as well. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you smash the like button, hit the subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I will see you guys in my next video.